Hello everybody, it's SD Matt Haven here today, and we're gonna be, well, going over what I think about a new update with G.I. Joe. Honestly, G.I. Joe is absolutely amazing, but first things first, one thing that I just want to stop throughout there. The light tank that they're giving away for Cold War, well not really giving away, you gotta buy it with the Ultimate Premium, premium Season Pass, it's too tall. Um, if you get rushed, which most of the heavy tanks inside this game mode are just as fast as this light tank, um, it's just gonna get shredded. So be careful if you guys decide to get that. Um, I don't support Cold War, so if you guys want to get it, um, don't don't expect me to do a review on it, on any of them, because really, Cold War is exactly the same. Now, the one thing I do not like is special deals. Do not buy these commanders. Commanders are commanders. They are regular commanders all they are is a 3d skin um the only way that i would ever consider buying a premium commander would be if i never had to pay to respec it and i never had to pay to swap it between nations and i'm talking gold gold respec gold swap if i never had to pay for that i would consider buying one but from what i know these are just really expensive useless essentially pieces to your garage and arsenal it, it just the, the best way i can look at it however special deals are here for twenty one thousand. this one okay nope nope there was one that i saw that looked extremely worth it and i don't even think it's in the game anymore i think they removed it because they just yeah it, it had basically all the uh previous yeah it had all the previous Tier 10, the Strav K, the Concept 1B, and then the uh, 268 version 5 for the revamp, and now it's gone. It's only here for like a... Oh, there it is. There we go. I found it. Turns out I found it. Here we go. Escape from New York. Okay, you know what? That's actually really expensive. Don't buy that. Don't do it. Never mind. Look at that price tag. Why would you pay for that? Originally, I thought this was a still a good deal, but now that I see it, no, this is nowhere near... Still, with it. and then there's two snake pill skin st skins now. Okay. Um. Another thing, last one. This commander's Polish. Why is he on a German tank? This hurts my head. I'm sorry, but I'm calling wargaming out in this one. This one hurts my head. They're they're leaning way too close to pay to win, and it it just sucks. Especially whenever you're going over to your actual commanders. And then you access it from, you know, you just want to go buy a commander, go recruit. And then you see all these guys, you know, you see your regular commanders. Sweet, regular commanders. Nice, 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 nice. Why is there gold in here? Why why, why are we paying gold for commanders? Why, why are we paying gold? Why, 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 what? 115 compared to the 130? Well, what if someone likes the way this guy looks and they want him with the 130% bonus? Can't you just select what one? But then again, I don't recommend buying them. Honestly, this right here is really limited, dude. You're going to be just... They, they need more. Honestly, I the whole 3D commander system I thought was a useless implement into the game because, I mean, look at my commanders. I'm very happy with the way all these guys look. You know, I freaking love my Headless Horseman. I love my Helion. Honestly, whenever I saw this thing had nine perks, I'm all like, that's awesome! You know? So, I, I was excited about something as simple as a portrait crew having a 9 perk crew whenever 6.0 dropped. I'm, I'm a very simple person. Especially with uh, my snow monster, uh, Bagator. Just everything. And then, you know, I got my crew that I'm grinding out right here. They've already given away a lot of hero crews. I honestly don't see why you guys would go out and pay for them. Because if you already got a crew halfway done with the experience, what's the, what's the benefit of having a 130%? Uh, unless you just want to pay for it. All right. Other than that, you know, my opinion on there is just as long as, you know, I can respec freely, transfer the crew freely, I would consider paying for it. Um, actually, no, I would probably, I'd probably buy like three of them. Max them out, call it good. Because then I would be able to respec them freely, do builds with them freely, and I would just go nuts with that crew. Um, yeah. Last but not least, uh, the garage with the way this looks, the uh, gold outline around the tanks i am not a fan that the premium tanks appear to be gold and then your little outline is just as gold so my first time going into my filters and screwing around with this going favorites okay they removed all my favorites again that's nice to see so we're gonna go to premium 
we're gonna and then um this is something that's a little bit annoying too uh if you guys haven't experienced this yet and this is it's doing this select commander disable commander all your tanks will come back that don't have crews but it for some reason whenever you select it and then you get off and get back on it leaves it selected so unselect it and they're used to okay, clear all filters clear all filters there we go commander we're gonna remove commander Gonna head over to premium. Okay, look, premium is still selected even though we hit clear all filters. Okay, so now we're gonna select premium, unselect it, go back down to eight. All right. For me, it took me a second to realize where my icon was. You guys can probably keep track of it, maybe. Um, going up to the next, we're gonna go ahead and stop. We're on the Senlac. But it just took a second to realize where that was. And to me, it's way too bright in here. Way too bright just too much color honestly if they were to do like um a gray outline for what you're selecting that would work out a lot better especially whenever you're going over a regular tech tree variant tank if it was kind of like a gray or solid black it would it, it would just look a lot better but we have nothing but premium selected for our tier 8 it's 118 vehicles right there a little bit too many i think i should get a life we're actually going to go ahead and remove you have to hold to remove so yeah see then the gold outline in these it's still just it, it doesn't blend well I, I would recommend just a solid black outline and then whenever you come over to this screen here make that make it like the old background where it was kind of whitish not this whole geographical camera view whatever they want to call it oh it's a tank it's blueprint okay yeah but there's that um yeah but you know there's just a couple of things that i'm not exactly a fan of the tech tree keeps on re resetting on me so here we're in americans Go to French. Let's go ahead. Let's head up. So uh, tap X in the artillery. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go armor viewer. We're gonna go module viewer. Remember, we were in French. We're clearly looking at a French tank. We click B, and we're back in American. This is just uh, it's, it's a simple thing, but it's a simple thing that they broke. They they do it all the time. And believe me, I'm enjoying the fact that I'm doing this. I hope they watch this and they're just like, this guy, I don't like this guy anymore. He used to be nice. I'm just here to get them crap now. All right, let's go. Actually, you can just spam RT. That's right. All right, so um, season pass. Cobra skin. <clears throat> a commander. Uh, there used to be a tank at 75. Now there's no tank at 75. Okay, let's go back. Let's go 40. There's a commander at 48. Okay, free commander. Okay, there's a commander at 50, but why are, why are we getting the same two commanders, but two different variants? Honestly, I just, I, I don't know. If, I'm, I, I like one variant. There's a reason why inside my commanders list right here, you only see the fact that I actually deleted Braddock and all the others because I just don't really care about the 130% bonus. I don't see a point in using it, but these guys right here, I have duplicates of this. And to me, this is just irritating having duplicates. More than likely, I'm going to be deleting a duplicate. Uh, okay, let's go to 100 now. <laughs> okay, look at that. We got 90 with a key card. Two key cards in 90. Um, there is actually a lot less key cards in this pack. There's, there's a lot less stuff in this pack. It looks like a couple more premium days, though. I think the last one had 17 premium days. Could be wrong, though. I'll have to count these out later. Um, but yeah, the 100 reward, absolutely disappointing. T-54 first prototype, They this was the motherland. They debuffed it back in 2017, and now they're giving it away. And there's a reason why you don't see a lot of these on the field. They were debuffed. The T-44 100 outperforms this tank heavily. And it's just, I, they're getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper on what they're giving away, from what I can tell. Well, not really giving away, you're paying 2,000 gold. Then you have to grind it out, which usually takes about a week and a half. They keep on increasing the amount that you need to do. Speaking of which, seasonal challenges, we have the repeatable one, which is now 4,000 experience. Last season was, what, last season 5,000 or 4,000? I remember the first one they had of this, it was 2K, and I mowed through that in a week. And then they doubled it, took me double the time, as expected, they doubled it. Only It took me like eight days to do a season pass, but I haven't even bought the season pass yet because I don't support Cold War. And the fact that this is a whole nother season focused around Cold War, I am not buying any of the premium tanks that come out for Cold War. Just because I 
don't want to play Cold War. If they wanted to make Cold War, they could have made a whole entirely different game and pray that it was a successful game. All right, so now we got to reset this because it's so great. Um, yeah, not really much to go over on this. Really, the, the garage has changed just a tad bit. Nothing too specific. Um, commanders, it feels like they're pushing them a lot more, especially the paid for the pay for ones. Do not buy them at all. Save your money. Honestly, there is a thousand times better things that you guys can buy. Other than that, dude, we got a really nice replay to go over. I'm actually gonna go ahead and remove myself from the from here. So, yep, guys, have fun. I'm gonna disappear now. Okay, but. Honestly speaking, there is just a couple of things out there that could make a really big difference. They have redone the UI of the garage three times now. And to me, that, that doesn't say that they were finished. They were not finished in the slightest. They lied to us. They're taking their time out. They're focusing on things that they don't need to focus on. Um, the last garage, I really like the last garage. Um, I also forgot to mention that there's a new filter system for commanders. So if you guys do not know about that filter system, it works the same way that your premium tanks do. But it separates out your commanders based upon skills, perks, and even their, their star class. Which you have your one stars, two stars, three stars. Which is just, the, the two star and three stars, you pay for those. You, you don't earn them. And now that they add those as a paid for item, I do not expect that they're going to be giving any of those guys away for free ever again. They're going to make them all cost money. And where, how do you hit Wargaming where it hurts? You don't pay them. Do not pay them whenever they realize that the amount they're making per month or the amount they're making per season goes down. They're going to stop and then they're going to listen to the community for what we want to hear. Now, what I would like to see personally is those premium commanders that you pay for. 4,000 gold is quite the amount of gold. So, to get an idea, 4,000 gold is equivalent to, let's say, 20 bucks. If I'm paying $20 for a commander, I want that commander to basically be a free use commander no matter what I do with it. I want to be able to swap it over to whatever tank I feel comfortable swapping it over to. I don't want it to be paid for. If I want to respect that commander, I want a free respect token every single time I respect that commander. Also, um, uh, this, this is for Wargaming. I want my Polish crew back that you guys have redone the commander system so many times and you told me it's too late. So, th there's that. I'm... Honestly, this update, I was extremely angry whenever I logged on. And all the new content that they added to the game was focused on Cold War. They're basically just trying to push Cold War in our faces. And with everything that's going... I'm rubbing my eyes right now, that's how bad it is. But everything that's been going on over the past couple of months, I've, I've just been here. I've just been here. Sitting. Playing. No problem. But... The more it happens, the more I play other games. The more I play other games, the more I'm not playing World of Tanks. My last month, um, they also added a career inside your profile tab. If you guys want to go over and check over your profile tab. Um, I'm a double A right now for monthly progress at 758. And this just barely reset. 758. That tells you guys how much I play in a few days. Okay, I'm at tier 9 to 891. Alright. I did not achieve the triple a rating last month because i was just waiting patiently and I, I was i was ready i was ready for a new update i was just taking a break so i can get on now go nuts and grind out in the past two days i've put in over 80 matches that's a lot of matches sorry i get a drink um but with the amount of matches that I put in and the amount that I play and the amount I experience, you know, I'm not here to be greedy. I'm not here saying, pay me, give me your money. No, I'm, I'm here to help you guys understand the game, understand the mechanics, going over, trying to help everyone become a better player. 
If you're an average player, I want you to be a great player. If you're a great player, I want you to be a very great player. If you're already a very great player, then I want you to be a freaking unicum. Alright, my goal is to help people with builds, game, positionings, you know, target focusing, trying to help you later in the future. You know, that way you have something, a source to rely on in the background. Like if you experience a certain moment inside the game, now you have a slight idea how to handle that situation. That's what I'm here to do. And Wargaming, they're, they're pushing away people like me. They're pushing away a lot of people like me. I've had a couple of friends that I used to play with this game on a lot back in the day. And they're done playing because every single time they log in anymore, it's just an entirely different game. Nothing is the same. Except for fighting in the combat. But even fighting in combat, we used to only have a 30% accuracy bonus back in the day. Now, we have an 82% accuracy bonus. You can imagine the difference there whenever someone new or someone old comes back and they're respecting their crew and they're setting it up in a certain way. Just, well, 32% is kind of off, actually. It was a little bit higher than that. But with just like Brothers in Arms, vertical, vertical stabilizers, and, you know, you got your vertical... No, what was it? Vertical... I can't remember the name of the perks now. It's been that long. It's been almost a year. And they're completely off my mind. But it's just that each and every single time they add something new, I'm, I have problems with the speed bonuses that they've added to the game, with the two pieces of equipment that they could have did one piece of equipment and give it less of an effect, which would have turned out a lot better and would be more used on a lot of tanks. But with how they have it put together, the power terrain, the traction system, two different pieces just to get the same bonuses the PC gets, with one piece of equipment, we need to run three. We need to run three pieces of equipment to get the same benefits and bonuses that PC players get on lower end tanks. 7.5 power to weight combined with plus four top speed, minus two reverse speed. PC, they thought it through because they knew if they gave it a percent, light tanks would become way too powerful. Uh, imagine the EBR-105 that can dr drive at 95 kilometers an hour with a 10% speed bonus and a 10% traverse speed bonus. That thing would be unbreakable. It, it would just be completely wrong. All right, well, I'm going way off subject, and I'm sorry, you guys, but it's, it's how I feel. I want to see this game grow. I want to see it get huge. Now, I would love to see ranked gameplay. Ranked gameplay, 10 versus 10. Okay, and then I want to see platoon matches as well. I want to see platoon ranked with 5 versus 5. Or it's like 15 on 15, but you, the only way to enter that platoon ranked is by having a 3-man platoon to be able to go inside that platoon ranked. Or like a 7 versus 7 situation where you choose a 7 versus 7 squad and actually get a ranking title from that match from a random queue. Now, with multiplayer, um, multi-base assault, they added multi-base assault. Multi-base assault was originally 7 vs. 7 comp or competition matches to begin with. It was never really implied to be made into the regular matchmaking because of how one-sided it can be. Um, multi-base assault is not suited for 15 versus 15. PC announced that years ago. And here console is putting out multi-base assault. Um, I... I ended up on on KO Bang, Mountain Pass, and Mountain Pass was a completely one-sided match. Okay, I was in a full platoon. Um, we had the base down at the bottom right. We had, um, so we spawned in the southern spawn, and going down the hill from the southern spawn is Cap B. And then Cap A was located over on the left side of our spawn, literally just right out front where you have the hill that you can go up. So we're, we're inside of our tier 10s. I'm in the T1105. And Yuki is in his 48 Patton. We had no problem holding off the left side at all because I'm an experienced player. I knew where to go. I knew where to handle it. Going absolutely nuts there. Taking full control of the situation and just completely decimated. 
Until artillery hit me. Whenever artillery hit me, it took over 1,200 hit points and killed me. Um, artillery, I would love to see artillery get a rework. Artillery needs a rework. Uh, it doesn't matter what Wargaming says. Whatever they say anymore, they're wrong. Because whenever you're looking at PC and how they balance their game compared to how consoles bouncing theirs, these are basically the same game. Essentially the same game. But we're still rocking on an older update with artillery. Because artillery on PC, it, it's been... I, I don't even think artillery ever had 120 armor pin. And they got 60 armor pin on PC. Especially with half the damage. So, kind of a couple of mixed things there. Now, let's go ahead and dive into this replay here from what we're doing. Guys, if you're paying attention more to this than you are me, I wouldn't, you know, I'd, I wouldn't be mad. I'd probably be paying attention to the replay too. But, um, Borask, you know, it's a new update. So, let's take out the Borask, play a couple matches in the Borask, along with the Borask, the LT432, and. I want to say, what heavy tank was I using? Oh yeah, the VK, the big fat boy, 16801P. Just screwing around with matchmaking. Um, Westfield, absolutely amazing how they reworked it. The, 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 the design team, as my English is stuttering, did an amazing job on Westfield. If you guys have played on Westfield, that map looks absolutely astounding. There's a lot more foliage than there was before. Overlord, exactly the same way. It looks amazing. And then the L and Tan, I don't even know how to pronounce the name of that map. I never will, and I never will even try. Do not try, because I don't know. Base cap coming up. This is something that I was excited to point out. I mean, I, I'm excited about this. If you are in a two versus three or two versus four scenario, you're down to 162 hit points, and you have the opportunity to play as an essential scout. Pop in the premium consumable to get the extra view range and the extra concealment. Making sure that I don't pull up to the right side thinking about it. We want to pull up on the right side hill here. Get above the bushes and the concealment down there to spot out the freedom. We're not going to fire. We do not need the fire. We're going to request fire. And our small little SU-100 tier 6, keep in mind. Our little tier 6 companion that was with us at the very end. Put in three devastating shots to take down the freedom without us ever exposing ourselves. So now it's time to relocate. We took out the Ferdinand. Ferdinand was a really big problem we wanted to take out. And there's still a Dreadnought. So knowing that the top speed of the Borask with the traction system, you know, it's about, what, 68? 69? It's up there. It's going fast. I, I want to see the traction system and the power terrain get combined, get a set bonus not just a percentage bonus. I want to see like an exact number that you get. That way light tanks aren't bit offending like 15 kilometers an hour extra speed forward and then like what five kilometers in reverse because the Borask with this on Borask goes like 25 backwards so it gets this massive bonus and it's almost like just insanely hard to hit with that traction system but since the dreadnought knows exactly where we were we want to try and push up around the right side of him from his point of view from my point of view it's left sorry no just brain today it's smooth you're gonna be coming up on the side of the bushes here aiming down in and also seeing if we can spot out that nomad we do not want that nomad to be pushing up along the front side so me acting like a scout getting out there keeping an eye out and seeing what i can do Looking around, I, and there's no hold position anymore. There's no cover me. There's honestly the communication wheel. They took away a lot of the things I really like to use because a lot of them had different meanings and they took away a lot of the meanings that I like to use. Cover me can be like, hey, I'm going to push up and scout or cover me could also mean, hey, I'm falling back. But then now we have falling back. You know, and falling back, that just means, hey, I'm coming back to you, or I'm leaving the front row. But then cover me. Cover me is a really specific thing to see pop up. It means I need cover fire. I need assistance. Without this assistance, I'm going to die. And the fact that they removed that makes me a little bit upset because it's taking away communication out of the game. Um, especially if you guys noticed back when we first loaded into this match the entire board in the background was all messed up. 
Tier 10s used to be focused out in the top, tier 9s in the middle, tier 8s at the bottom. So it was always top tier at the top of the list, middle tier at the middle of the list, bottom tier at the bottom of the list. If there's nothing in between, then it's just two tiers. But now, you have heavies, mediums, TDs, artillery, light tanks. Not in that order. But it focuses them by group. Now, you have to count out what tanks you see on the enemy team, which to me is just absolutely uncomfortable because I've had some matches inside tier 10. I had a couple tier 10 matches that I wanted to show off while I was playing inside my tier 8 that I did, you know, 4,000 damage, 5,000 damage. And I was like, this replay is the best replay to show off. Just because it was teamwork between me and one of the guy to take down four opponents. And wait the timer out, take them down. Essentially a win, no problem. Good match, good run. Fantastic match, actually. Um, if you guys, uh, at the very end of this replay, if you play on PlayStation, you see this guy's tag, can you please send him a message saying to check out this video so I can tell him specifically, you were amazing and I would not replace you with anybody. That was a fantastic match, well played. <laughs> and good game, it was. Absolutely fantastic. Um, starting to get my throat, you know, built up a little bit. Been talking for a minute, but dude, I'm sorry, guys. I monologued a lot. I'm just upset with everything that they've been doing as a recent. I checked out a couple of streams, talking to a couple of guys. Uh, whenever this one first came out. And it, it's almost like they, they lied to my face. Because I had a just I had one question. I only had one question that I wanted to ask. And that one question is, where was this voting pool that said we wanted Friend Bang, KO Bang, and that Cold War is preferred by 50% of the player base? My comments sat unanswered in all their chats for two, three minutes before I just left. Um I looked over Discord. The only thing I see on Discord is 43 likes and some things, and then you add 100 stacked on top of the dislikes. It's that bad on Discord right now. And they're acting like everything is perfectly fine. But the thing is, I see it. Clone Guy sees it. Everyone sees it. We're not blind, okay? Wherever this voting pool is that said that half of the community enjoys Cold War is, I would like to see it. Because I have not been able to find it on the forums, Discord, or even Reddit, or their Twitter. Okay? Now, if, if they're going off of one platform for a voting poll saying that 50% of this community likes it, so because this 50% likes it, and this other nine communities do not like it, that their numbers clearly outmatch this one community by like 9,000%, that's wrong. I've also seen people get banned off their Discord because they have different points of view. So, Wargaming, you're, you're messing up. And I'm sorry that this video is basically just hammering them out. Hard. But it, it needs to. You guys watching, everyone later in the future, hit them where it hurts. I don't think I'm going to buy the season pass. The gold that's on my account right now is probably the only gold I'm going to have for the next six months. Don't get me wrong. If they come out with a World War II tank, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll do a review on it, and I'll play it. I'll add some more gold to my account right then and there, without a doubt. But each time they add something Cold War, I'm not going to add anything to my account. Nothing. Well, this is uh, long. We've, we've been here for a minute. If you guys have spent the entire time watching this, thank you. You're absolutely fantastic. Seriously, fantastic. Um, if you guys want to catch me live, catch me over on Twitch. Other than that, if you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you disliked it, well, I'm sorry. There's a dislike button for a reason, and I'm about ready to switch scenes, not cancel the freaking recording. Ooh, wow. You know those days whenever your brain's smooth? That's one of those for me today. So, till next time, you guys, catch you on the battlefield.